In this episode, I'm going to be constructing the recesses for the sleeping area of the van. That will allow me to sleep widthways instead of lengthways, and we can have some extra room. Uh, at the moment, without the recesses, I would have to sleep diagonally if I want to sleep widthways in the van at the back. I'm going to put back in the bed and mark up where the recesses are going to begin and then get cracking. So let's go. I have the marks drawn. I've come up four inches, and that's now where I'm gonna. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out a template, and. Then from the template, I'm gonna cut out a five mil ply or six mil ply. I've created this rough template, very rough, out of uh, some cardboard for the recess. And what I'm gonna do is place it on nine mil ply and then draw out the template. And then once I'm happy with this template and I fit it in and see if it's, it's all okay, I'm going to cut out the opposite recess, so let's get cracking. going to do is mark out the frame for the actual recess. recesses on either side of the van and this is the one on the driver's side I've just put a, a packer here that's roughly four inches so if you can imagine the um, memory foam mattress is just gonna come up to that ledge so the next thing to do is mark out how I'm gonna secure this to the side of the van secure it with four self-tapping screws I'm going to take the measurement from the outside edge, which is 13 and, a, 13 and a half. And then, so if I come down from here, that's going to be 3 and three quarters three three quarters there and the one down here will be 13 and three quarters so I have it written on the side here 13 and a half 13 three quarters three and a half down And then if I measure up from this beam that's running across, that would be actually supporting the 
the base of the bed we have eight and a half inches so I'll write that here eight and a half up and it's basically the same on this side measuring that's 13 and a half in written on right on the side and then three and three quarters the same again down down and then up from the bottom or in from the side you've got 15 inches Yeah, 15 inches because the, the shape of that is is not the same on both sides. It's slightly different on, on, on both sides. So 15, 15 inches in, and then up from the bottom. If we measure from the the rail, it should be the same as there. It's eight and a half. Yeah. So up from the bottom, eight and a half. Eight and a half. What I'm going to do is use a three mil wood bit to drill through the wood and then it'll make a mark of where the actual pilot holes are to be drilled into the side of the van and then I will take down I will change the bit to a, a steel bit and then I will st uh, drill into very carefully into the side of the van into these uh, beams that are coming down and make sure not to drill to the outside of the van because there's two there's two sheets of metal. It's just the inside sheet of metal that I'm going to be drilling four holes one, two, three, four, and then I will uh, countersink the holes, the pilot holes on the the wood on the recesses, and then screw it in. So now I'm gonna make sure that these lines. exactly where I want them. So I'm using a set square to fill these very, very small cavities with some of the, the insulation wood. And I think it's important to try and get the insulate everywhere you can possibly insulate. This is a place where you could just leave but I'm able to insulate it. So before I put the actual recesses in, I'm gonna insulate it with the wool, these small little cavities, and even the cavities around here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some super foil uh, vapor barrier tape up against that, and then put the, fix the recess against that. panel has now all been insulated so the next step will be to put on this vapor barrier what I've done is I've stuck it to the top part here with some foil tape and now what I'm going, going to do is I'm going to spray the whole lot of it with some fast tack adhesive bostic and then I'm going to spray this and then try and mold it into place so it should be fun. Here we go.
So I'm finishing off the second recess. I already have the other one secured here. I will show you that in a moment, but just to show you how I've done this with the recesses, how I've actually fixed them to the wall. Um, so I filled them with the, the, the rock wool, the wool insulation as much as I could here because uh, I didn't want that bare metal. I wanted to fill it as uh, with insulation to try and keep the warmth in and the cold out. And then what I've done is I've gone over that with foil tape and I've used some adhesive spray, some adhesive spray. And what I did was I took the measurements from here to the railing and that was just over two feet and I cut that two feet and then I got a bit of foil tape and I stuck it on here at the top and then I grabbed the ends of it and I actually stuck it I stuck it to the ceiling then that allowed me to spray the side of the van and then I sprayed the underneath of the uh, vapor barrier and then I let it off from the top and then I just stuck it in the grooves on the way down and got it all stuck in nicely and then I sealed the edges with the foil tip. So now the next step is uh, once I located the sections where I'm going to actually attach the frame to I then marked it in with the marker. So what I did was I used this, this is roughly four inches and this is gonna be placed on top like that. Then I use the marker and then, then when I was happy with that, what I did is I already have a pre-drilled on the wood but obviously I don't want to drill through the wood and into the side of the van in case I pop out the other side. So I just did, I lined it up and then I did, I marked it with the drill going around on all four and then take it off. And then from here, I was able to drill in with control. So you have to control it so you don't fly out the side of the van and you're just actually screwing into the, the cross, the, the beams that are running down. And what I'm gonna do then is, I'm going to use, where am I? I'm going to use these stainless steel uh, sheet metal screws. And they're 3.9, by 16 mil and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a countersink just to keep them really flush with the and not to go too deep but uh, I originally I originally bought these which were self tapping screws but the problem was that I don't know if you can see it problem was that if you can see the end of it the screw doesn't go all the way down to the end so that was not working so then I had to go with something else and I found these stainless steel metal screws so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna countersink with this to the size of that uh, the head of that screw and I don't want to go too deep with the countersink otherwise you could have the 16 mil screw come out the side of your van so that's it complete that's the two side recesses finished there it is the side recess and as you can see this is this is going to be the thickness of the bed that's this episode completed. I now have the recesses installed into the back of the van and I can sleep widthways instead of having to sleep lengthways, which would mean I would have to take up more room in the van. And all that remains to be done with the recesses is to fill in the screw holes and then give it a paint over, or I might put a vinyl or something on it and 
then clad I'll be able to clad right up to the edge of the recess. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Van Build series. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below and I will get back to your question as soon as possible. And also, if you want to follow along with the Van Build series, please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, and if you want to be notified for future videos, please click the notifications button in the top corner somewhere up there. And we will see you on the next video.